Greetings, hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist, spiritual psychotherapist, and mastery of life mentor. So, um, uh, a patient of mine uh, contacted me and was very distraught because uh, she uh, had a, uh, a leak in her apartment and they, she was forced to, uh, to leave the apartment uh, while they repaired the leak. And she has a lot of physical infirmities and it was very stressful. It was very difficult for her, uh, very overwhelming. And, uh, and so she contacted me to let me know that, oh, guess what? It happened again. And she's going to have to go through that whole process again. And she thinks she's going to have a nervous, nervous breakdown. And, she's, and she just can't do it. She just can't do it. She can't go through that again. My response to her was, uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. And, uh, it, it, you know, it's difficult. It's terrible, perhaps. Uh, it's, it's scary. It's incredibly inconvenient. Uh, it's, it could be all sorts of horrible things. I'm not minimizing that. I didn't minimize that or, 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 or I wasn't uh, lacking in compassion for her. But her response to me was, that's easy for you to say. You're, you're healthy and, and, and happy. Uh, well, I responded by telling her, "There, you know, there have been, there have been many times in my life, you know, you know, when I have not been healthy, and I've not been happy, I've not been wealthy, I've been poor and scared and confused and sick, and unhappy. And amidst all that, I always try to do, to be positive, to look on the bright side." to look for the silver linings, to look for the blessings in disguise, to turn uh, lemons into lemonade, to make the most of a bad situation, uh, to try to deal with a difficult situation as best I can. Uh, the, 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 I mean, why not? I mean, you got a choice, right? You're confronted with something terrible happening in your life. It's terrible. But you got a choice. You can either like embrace doom and gloom. And rather than hope for the best, you can expect more doom and gloom if you want. Uh, or, you know, or you can expect the worst or, or hope for the best. Why not even expect the best, perhaps? Uh, but uh, it just makes sense because if you, if you just engage in let me embrace doom and gloom, then yeah, you're, you're going to be even more miserable, even more unhappy even more desperate, even more scared, and, 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 uh, and it might even make you make poor decisions and, and, uh, because your judgment is so, so damaged by your depression and confusion and fear. It's always better to think positive, to look on the upside, the bright side, to be optimistic rather than pessimistic because, it, for one thing, it just makes you feel better. To have hope is a good thing and to, and to hope that things will change and to, is a good thing and, it, and, and, and you want to try to affect change and if you, if you think there's no hope for change then you're going to be demoralized and you're going to do nothing and you're going to not, not, not want to try to change the situation. So it's always best. Plus, when you're positive, uh, you know, when, when you're trying to think uh, of the glass being half full versus half empty, well, what happens? Your mind works. Your mind starts to brainstorm. Your mind starts to, the gears start to turn. Uh, you're thinking out of the box. Other possibilities are, are, are possible because your mind is expansive and open to possibilities rather than contracted and fearful and close to possibilities. So it's always a sucker bet to just embrace your pain. Instead, embrace hope amidst your pain. All right. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.